When it comes to music and video games, there are two main techniques that pretty much all games utilize. These are called vertical and horizontal sequencing. Sometimes with my students, I call this hamburger and railroad sequencing. So vertical sequencing, which is the hamburger, means that files are actually stacked on top of each other. And depending on what is happening in the game, all or some of those files might actually be playing. And then something else happens in the game and we switch. We might bring down the volume of one and bring up the volume of the other. So if we had three different files stacked on top of each other, and let's say they're all parts of the same song, we might have drums, melody, and chords and bass. We might only hear chords and the bass, or we might not hear the melody, but hear the chords and the bass and the drums. We might only hear the drums and maybe something, maybe we get closer to a boss and the drums get louder and we get farther away from the boss and the drums get quieter. Now, some creative games actually do completely different songs. So it's not just different parts or different stems of the same song. It's actually one song that transitions into another, but on some level, they're all sort of stacked on top of each other, waiting for the trigger to happen so that we can reshuffle the volume. Now, if you utilize this technique, pretty much everything needs to be the same length, and it's usually advisable that everything is the same tempo and give or take the same key. So this is why it's very, very common to see this as different parts of the same song or different stems of the same song. But I've seen some really creative composers do completely different songs and, and do it in a way that it makes very much musical sense when we fade in between the different parts. Now, the other technique, which is very common, is the horizontal or the railroad. In horizontal, we don't really have the files stacked on top of each other in the same way. Instead, it's more like we are triggering one file and then triggering another file and then triggering another file, and they're all connected like a train. That's why I sometimes call it railroad or horizontal. Now, there is usually a little bit of overlap that happens when the tail of the previous file is played and the beginning of the new file, there's usually a little bit of overlap that happens, and that's one thing that we do to keep things smooth. So even though there are railroad, there is a tiny bit of, of a there's a few moments when two files might be playing at the same time. But this is very, very common for one song to transition into another, or sometimes even just one bar or one section of a song to transition into another, depending on what's happening in the game. Now we shouldn't think of this as an either or technique. It's not like you choose vertical or horizontal. Most games, we do some combination of both of them. So you might have a railroad, a railroad, a railroad during a fight, and then maybe we get into a calmer exploration moment, and then there we get into the hamburger or the vertical. So we do horizontal, 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 into the vertical, and then we spend some time in the vertical, and then we do a horizontal transition into a new vertical section, and so on. So we're kind of going back and forth between the two techniques, depending on what makes the most sense musically. Okay, one of the easiest ways of seeing the difference between these two is actually going into the WISE launcher. And if you open up the sample and the sample project, which is available to everybody, totally free. Now, to be clear, None of this is unique to WISE. These concepts can be done in any game engine or any game audio middleware, but WISE has an easy way for me to show you how it works. So if you open up, you're in the sample project, you open up the interactive music hierarchy, and then we go to music, we go to in-game music. There's one that's set up uh, vertically and one that is set up uh, horizontally. So this is the railroad, and that one is the hamburger. So let's look at the fight, which is the horizontal version. Now you can see there's only one audio file. There's nothing stacked on top of each other. We have this, which is the entry queue, this, which is the exit queue. But actually you can see that it starts early and it ends later. So this is what we sometimes call pre-roll and this is what we sometimes call post-roll. Um, so let's just hear, hear this. Okay, so we have we have a little bit of a pre-roll, we have an in point, we have an out point, and then we have the post-roll, which is just kind of reverb and delay, and so on. 
if we link these together, you'll see that they go one, two, three, four, one after another. And every now and then you're going to see two different uh, arrows playing at the same time. That's when one of the tracks post roll is playing over the entry point of the other track. So you can see that pretty much every cue is about two bars long, um, and they just kind of go one, two, three, like a railroad, all connecting, where the entry connects to the next one's exit cue, and then whatever is overlapping overlaps accordingly. So that is the horizontal or railroad technique. Let's look real quickly at the vertical or the hamburger technique. So you can see in this one, there's actually multiple files stacked on top of each other. And these are actually connected with this one slider that they call Stealth Factor. So if you look at the ambient and the Stealth Drums ambient, now I've already looked at this, this cue, but I know that when this Stealth Factor is already down at the bottom, then this ambient and this Stealth Drums ambient doesn't play. So all we're hearing is the bass and the drums main swing. Okay, but then if this goes up, and you'll see as, as I do it, these are going to start to fade up, and they're going to get louder. Sort of like if you're getting closer to an enemy or something like that, it's going to get louder, but then you walk away from the enemy, and it can get quieter again. So I'll just do that right now. You can feel it's sort of subtle, but the arrangement got a little more intense as the stealth factor went up and as we, you know, maybe got into a little bit more danger. So this is why it's called hamburger, because these things are all stacked on top of each other or vertical. And then depending on what is actually happening in the game, we decide to play certain files or to not play certain files. <laughs> 